everybody. So, I don't know if three videos in one day is a bad idea, but kind of bored, have some time to kill, so I thought that maybe you might want to see some of the things that I've made that are on my Etsy shop, in my Etsy shop. Things go into shops. <laughs> Anyways, um, the first thing that I made was this. Ooh, so cute. It's a little... <clears throat> like makeup, <coughs> excuse me, bag. It's polka dot inside, has a little tag on it. Whoop. Yep. It's just got this brown polka dot fabric that's on this front part. And his little zipper. And it's got these cute keys and locks and stuff on them. I love skeleton keys and little ruffles. So cute. This is back. So I have this one in my Etsy shop. In case you need a makeup bag or you need to buy a makeup bag for somebody for Christmas. Yeah. And the second one that I made was this little asymmetrical clutch pouch thing. They're soft because I line them with um, high loft. I think it's high loft. Pretty sure it's high loft. Batting stuff on the inside. This has cute ruffles on the top. And the zipper is in here. It's got this little asymmetrical shape going on. You unzip it. And it's got the little leaf pattern on the inside. And my tag right there. And it has, it was supposed to be like, um, it is a side pocket thing that's got the little inside and it's got some of the yellow flower fabric. Um, but it's really big so it kind of just looks like a, a bag separator in the middle. But it is a side pocket. But obviously it can function as whatever you want it to. <laughs> so there's that one. And then I made this one, and this one is one of my favorites. It's super cute, and I love it. I made this clutch. It's a little fold over. Right there. It has this little teal. Everything looks super blue. This is like a, a sky color, but it's like a little more of an aqua turquoise than this bright blue that's showing up. <laughs> Anyways. But, if you untie this, there's this hole that goes through this whole thing. You take that off, you got the hole right there, and you open it, and there's the inside. More of that pretty turquoise tealish polka dot fabric in my tag. And this part up here is thin so that it folds over, but this down here is soft and cushioned for your items that go on the inside. And you just put that back through there and fold it over and tie the bow to make it all cute again. Ta-da! Yay! It's one of my favorites. And then I have this one, which is just like your classic envelope type clutch with hair on it in this gray circles with a black button that kind of reminds me of a pea coat. love pea coats. And you undo the button and the flap goes up and it's the black and white polka dots. And that's the inside. No pockets in this one. Black and white. And this is thin so that it flaps over nicely. And this pouch part is cushiony for all of your things. And I think my second favorite is probably this one. This one is super cute and I love it. It's got this red houndstooth type stuff. Some cute ruffles. And this is a fold over too, but it folds over in half. So it's big like that. It's got 
the ruffles. And this one, it's my newest because I haven't done any of these before, has magnetic, magnetic <laughs> clasp. Snap. It's a snap. Magnetic snap to keep it closed. And it's got more of this gray polka dot fabric on the inside. And it's big. And there's no cushion in this because I couldn't get it to fold over properly with all the cushioning in it. And dun -da -da, zipper pocket. Tag on it. Open up the zipper pocket. This is a seven inch zipper, so it's a decent size width pocket, and it's got more of the pounds tooth stuff on the inside of there. So you can keep things securely in the little pocket in here, and then snap it closed, and fold it in half. So cute! Okay, so that's all I have for purses right now. I'm currently in the working of making some bigger purses, because people like big purses. I know I do. So I made some jewelry, and I have this pair of earrings. Kind of cute. It's got turquoise, round bead, and a like rose, light pink colored round bead. And they've got little crackles in them. Focus. Not focusing. And this little. Um, bronze colored bead spacer. It's got stuff on it. I have those. They're like a, I think a one inch drop. So I have those in my shop. And I have these ones. And all my stuff's kind of like, um, I don't want to stereotype it as anything in particular. Um, but it's kind of like a country western... Um, antique, sometimes steampunk inspired. So these earrings that I'm going to show you are kind of steampunk, I would call them. They've got the little turquoise round beads on them. And then these little Aztec print kind of, um, I don't know, they're those charm things that hold charms on necklaces and bracelets. And then I used this um, end coil thing and some leather to attach that. So this whole section kind of looks steampunk to me because this looks like a spring and some leather and the colors are steampunkish. So I got those and I believe those are more of um, like an inch and a half or something drop. Those are in my shop. And then I have these which I like a lot. I like the stones. They're just multicolored little stones stacked on top of each other. And I think these are like a two inch drop also. There's multiple colored stones. Chillin'. They look cute on there. And then my last pair of earrings that I have right now are these ones. They're um, bronze colored feathers and they have little chevrons on them, which I think is cool. It's kind of western and cute. And these each have different uh, stones. So this has like sort of kind of greenish colored stones with green beads, and then this one's got turquoise stones and beads. And this one has like it's called Dusty Rose, and that's one of my favorite colors. Like Dusty Rose bead stones and beads. Colors are so strange right now. So those are in my shop also. And I made one necklace so far. And it looks like this. It's got these bigger, chunkier turquoise stones. They're not blue, they're actually turquoise. Because my color is awesome. And then some more of these bead spacers. Here are the bronze ones. And these are little white like carved bone beads. I don't know. They're kind of like they have little suns or flowers etched into them. My dog really likes them so apparently they are made from bone. 
And these turquoise beads have like bronze wire through them, wrapped around them, keeping them on there. And little knots keeping stuff together. And then another one of these feathers. And then I have feathers like this too. And I don't remember what the length is on this. But it's, it hits like right here. If you like that, that's in my shop. And my last piece of jewelry, which is probably my favorite thing that I've made, it's super cute and I love it, is this charm bracelet. It's made from leather cord and it has this cute toggle clasp on it. That's a heart. Heart. And this cute little toggle thing. You just put it through there. Ta-da! And then it's got all these little knots all over it with different colored stones and some of the turquoise round beads and little rose colored round beads. And then I made a little like center charm thing with one of those Aztec like charm hangers and I stacked a few stones on top of each other to hang that from the center. It looks really cute on. I have some good pictures of me wearing it on in my shop on this page. So that's on there too. So I hope you guys like my stuff. I'm always trying to create new jewelry and I have lots of purse designs, it's just really hard to uh, motivate <laughs> to get them to the sewing machine and sew them together. But I have one started and I think it's going to be really super cute and I'm excited. And I hope you are and I hope that you check out my Etsy shop and I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stick around with me and I'll see you later. Bye!